Hi guys, welcome back to Ron Pet Bath and Beauty. You know, it would be really helpful if I had <laughs> the blade of my stick blender over here. Today is the first whoo, Friday of the month. And guess what, you guys? My birthday just passed. My birthday is April Fool's Day. You probably are all like, yeah, we figured that, Sue Lynn. Okay, so let me get my uh, glasses on here. Um, we are going to have story time today because we are still working on our Violator album. This is the fifth song on the album it's called waiting for the night now this is a remake for me so um, I only have two bars left so I have to remake it and guess what you guys there's no black in it are you shocked I'm shocked woohoo no black <laughs> Okay, so this is my Isis and Osiris recipe. I have my bentonite. Hey, Harley! My cat is scratching. Oh, I don't know what it is about my paneling that they like to scratch on. Anyway, this is this is my bentonite clay, my yogurt, and my heavy cream are in here. So I am going to go ahead and stir that up. And my... Lye water is 50% aloe, 50% distilled water, sodium hydroxide, salt, and sugar. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stir this and mix my lye water in. And then we'll talk about the colors and talk about what this song means to me. Okay, we're at a very fine emulsification. So this soap is primarily green but it has both purple and gold in it, and I think that's a little bit too much. And this is gonna seem like, you know, nothing as I'm pouring it back in, but I want those to be almost the same. That'll be good enough. Okay, so let me uh, take this out of here. Now, waiting for the night, is one of my favorite songs on this album. It is one of those songs that hits you right in the heart, at least for me it did. Um, it is, it, it's sort of a slower song. Um, Next, next month is my favorite song, but this song always gave me this, oh, I can't explain it. It's sort of like a calming effect. And I'm using my Shimmer Dark Gold Mica. That was probably way too much. I'm using my Amethyst Purple. Let's do a little bit more than that, just so it's not gray. Ooh, I just spilled that all over my counter, y'all. I have <laughs> purple mica all over my counter. And then we have our green, which is the main batch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half um, in the pot swirl. And then I'm going to drop the other, um, I'm going to do the purple as an in the pot swirl, but I'm going to do the gold as a um, drop swirl. And the reason being is I don't want it to turn brown because that would be terrible. So let me get these all mixed in and I will hand stir the the fragrance in. And I'll tell you what the fragrance is too. 
Okay, so the freak. Let me put Martin over there because I'm pretty sure I don't need it. It's been a while since I've made this soap. But the fragrance is from Nature's Garden, of course. <laughs> and it's called Midnight Romance. And this is my, this goes into my Osiris um, line, but it is very much um, a unisex fragrance. So let me go ahead and put it in. Whoop! <laughs> All three of these. Okay. Let me wipe my finger off. Oh, <laughs> it smells so good. Yep, it does rice. Dang it. Well, you know what? I'm able to stir it out. It's it's a little bit racing on the surface of the soap. It's been a while, like I said, since I've used this fragrance. It's not racing in the gold at all. In the purple it did. But I was able to stir it out, so that's good. Let's see about the green. Um, a teeny bit of racing. Let's see if I can stir it out. If not, I'll stick the stick blender in there really quick. Yeah, I'm going to have to stick the stick blender in the green. It's just much more soap is all. Let me uh, clean off Simon here. I'm sorry, Martin. <laughs> I was using Simon to make my, uh, my, uh, what's it called? It's right over there. Oh, whiff soap. <laughs> Clear as a whistle. Oh, stay right there. Thank you. All right. So anyway... Like I said, this is one of my favorite songs. It calms me when I'm upset. It gives me, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It gives me peace. It does. Um, I will put the link to the audio below. Um, next week I'm going to do the audio, but I'm also going to do my favorite performance of this song that they did. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay, so the purple is going in. Actually, you know what? Should we put both colors in? I just really don't want it to turn brown. Here we go. Purple. And a Purple. I only need a little bit for my top. There we go. I'll put it all in there. Why not? Gold. And a gold. Why not? Okay. So that's about it that I'm going to put in there. Let me wipe this off so I can bring my mold over here. It took me a hot second to let me get this all. Oh, oh my gosh, I've got so much mica on my counter. I can't believe this. That's what happens. Okay, here we go. Let me put you guys down. Ooh. down just a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's going to be perfect. I will have to wipe that off.
Oh my goodness, you guys, this smells so good. I cannot wait till this is cured. This actually sells pretty well. Um, when I do take it, because that's the thing. I mean, I have so many different soaps that it's hard for me to remember to bring, you know, some of the ones that actually sell well when I bring them. Like this one. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the purple on top. And we're just going to do a pollock like we've been doing. son-in-law came downstairs. I just had to make sure he didn't need anything. Okay, and then our gold. Last time I put some of my gold, um, like mica that's stuck in oil. I'm not going to do that this time, I think. I just don't think it needs it. I think it's beautiful the way that it is. Okay. All right, let me clean off this mold because I have green up underneath here and I don't want the mold to stick to the to the uh, wood. I don't know if you guys have ever had that happen to you, those who are soapers, because it's like terrible. <laughs> and you're struggling to get your mold out. Alright. I think we're, we're good. Oh, sorry guys. Alright, so we're going to take and we're going to go down this way. And then we're going to go up this way. And then we're going to go straight down the middle. Well, sort of straight down the middle. <laughs> Not really. Well, straight down the middle, was it? Whatever. As long as it has a little bit of an indent in it, we should be good. Sorry, guys. I had to move away. All right, let me put some alcohol in this baby. And in 18 to 24 hours, we will cut it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. All right, guys. We're back to uh, cut our beautiful waiting for the night. Well, hopefully beautiful. Um, my kitten is right below me, so we don't know if she's going to jump on the counter here. But um, I am going to get this started. All right. Let's see how much it looks like the original. <laughs> you know how that goes. No, Harley Quinn. You can't come up here. As much as our viewers would probably love to see your beautiful face. I have a little bit of a sore throat, as you can probably tell. Oh, wow. It does look nice. I love it. I, I changed the gold. I used the caramel the first time. And, you know, I used the Gold Coast Holiday. And I really like it. I like it on the, on the top there, too. So, am I too close to you guys? Maybe not. I don't know. Here, let's pull you back just a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well, whatever. I guess now you're back where you were. <laughs> Although I am having a problem with seepage on the side of this soap. I'll show you in just a second. I don't see it in the middle of the soap. 
like at all. I don't see it. But if you look on the side, oh, maybe we're up too close. See that seepage? Which isn't a problem because I plane all my soaps. So the planing, you know, gets rid of most of that. <clears throat> Okay, no Harley. I have headphones in. I was listening to a podcast and she's trying to play with. Well, okay, see, there's some seepage right there. Well, you know, it happens on occasion. I must have not mixed it as well as I thought. So, but I'll, I'll tell you what, it definitely looks different um, than the original. Um, first of all, it's a larger bar. Um, when I first made it, it was 32 ounces of oils, and this is 34 ounces of oils, plus my, my water, aloe, and sodium hydroxide weight. Well, plus the sugar and salt adds weight to that, too. But the original one, I let the... Um, it wasn't a, really a camo style, necessarily. But it had more clumpiness in it. Like, you know, blotches of colors. Where in this, we have a really nice swirl. But I also made it... Um, doing the hot pro or not hot process uh, uh, what is that called you know where you mix your lye to melt your hard oils what is oh my gosh I I have been making soap for so many years heat transfer method what <laughs> it took me a minute to get that one true my brain is bad today y'all it's very early in the morning the kids haven't even gone to school yet um, my birthday today is my dad's birthday and my birthday will have come and gone 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 by the time you guys see this video my birthday is on april's april fool's day so Let's get one more end piece off of here. I am so excited about this soap. I'm so excited about this whole series, being able to share more of myself with you guys and what was going on in my life at this time and how it affected me personally. Okay, we're going to have to throw away this piece right here. But this can be used as a sample. Alright. So, the next, next Friday, or next Friday, the first Friday of, of uh, May, is my absolute favorite song on the album and I can't wait to share that one with you guys because that is a song that just makes me happy it didn't even matter back then what I was going through we'll explain all that when we get to it but um, I have some soaps that need to be remade like my coffee soap, all I need is love, all that kind of stuff. So you guys are going to probably see all of that this month. So I will go ahead and let you guys go for now. But that is the plan, is to remake some soaps that we're low on. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.